there are many, many products that are now sitting on the shelf of a laboratory that have the potential to cure many incurable diseases. So the Center for Definitive and Curative Medicine wants to bridge these two words and bring them together to cure patients with incurable diseases. So when we do stem cell therapy, the drugs we give today shut off the immune system. They don't shut off only the response to the stem cells. They shut off everything. So they expose the patient to a tremendous risk of infection. So the idea is to give a cells that will specifically shut off the immune response to the stem cells and keep intact the immune response that we need to protect ourselves against viruses or bacteria or other pathogens. My team discovered one group of these T regulatory cells, which are called T regulatory type 1. We call them TR1. And this would be, again, a major breakthrough in the field of stem cell therapy, not only blood stem cell therapy, but also tissue stem cell therapy. So the same mechanism that we use to induce tolerance to healthy donor stem cells can be used in situations in which the immune system of the patient causes the disease. The diseases that we can cure today with stem cell and gene therapy, we can count them on our two hands. But the technology we have in the lab can potentially cure hundreds, thousands of diseases. And the Center for Definitive and Curative Medicine wants to say to these parents, we will make it before it's too late for you.